When it comes to an embarrassing body issue, most of us hate talking about it, or we just wish it would go away. Well, what happens when it ends up dragging on year after year? My name is Sarah. I'm 31 years old and I live in Atlanta, Georgia. I've had hemorrhoids for about five years now, five straight years of hemorrhoids. And I found out about them when I was about eight weeks pregnant with my second daughter. I went into the bathroom one day when the pressure was just, it was mounting and I had to see what was going on. I had to check it out. Oh my God! What is this? Oh my I have hemorrhoids. So I quickly got an appointment with my gynecologist. She told me that hemorrhoids for pregnant women are completely normal. After my daughter was born, I thought that the hemorrhoids went away. Um, they were gone for three months. I thought it was totally home free. And then, bam, they were back. Completely intense and way worse than the first time. The cream that the doctor gave me for the hemorrhoids, it was a prescription cream and it didn't work. The hemorrhoids got really intense the past year to the point where I started getting really concerned that maybe something else was going on. I've had more pain than not. It's been more intense than ever and since then I've just given up. The doctor told me there was no treatment, that it was either the cream or I'd have to deal with them for the rest of my life. Hemorrhoids affect my life because they make me feel less confident every single day. Also. Who wants to get frisky when you have hemorrhoids? There's some nights where I have to put the hemorrhoid cream on and I'm screaming from the bathroom to my husband, don't come in here, I'm putting my hemorrhoid cream on and he's like, gross, and that's totally the mood killer right there. It's been such a long time since I've been dealing with this hemorrhoid situation and the pain and the uncomfortable feelings. I just want it to go away once and for all. Is Sarah's problem actually hemorrhoids or something else? And why hasn't a doctor been able to figure it out? We sent her to proctologist Dr. David Rosenfeld in hopes that he could help. Hi, Mrs. Hosseini, Dr. Hi. Rosenfeld. How are nice you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So tell me of your tales of woe. <laughs> My tales of yeah. woe, yes. Do you feel lump all the time and sometimes it's more swollen than others? Yes. Any sharp pain? No like, sharp pain. No sharp pain. And then last year was when I started noticing the blood in the stool. The blood you saw was on the stool? On the stool. Coated, okay. The thing about hemorrhoids, you can't lump it all into one category. If you have one or two external hemorrhoids, I yeah. remove them, I don't put stitches in. It's more of a three to seven day recovery, but if it persists and mm -hmm. it's outside and we need to remove okay. it, we'll talk no. about it. You just have to take a look and see what's going on. That's what you're feeling? Yep. And it swells. Yep. So that's an external hemorrhoid. It just feels like there's some, like a growth. I always say that when I'm on, like, it feels like there's something growing there. Well, there is. It's your vein. It's expanding. Okay, that is feeling scratchy. Now you're going to feel cold and pressure. Cold. Pressure. Okay. Slow fingers, slow deep breaths, breathe. 